Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we are going to tackle a subject that was quite a pain in the butt to me while I was doing all the research looking into these products. And it's a very important product. It's a product that protects your most important EDC, what I truly believe is your most important EDC for your day-to-day -day carry, and that is your phone. Yes, your phone. I, I, I do use my phone a lot more than a knife in my day-to-day. -day. There's no doubt uh, for photography, for email, for messaging. Phones are unfortunately attached to my hip and probably as most of you, you know, you really need a phone for your day-to-day -day. and phones are so expensive now. Like you got to take care of them. You don't want anything stupid happen to them like dropping them in a lake or, you know, especially on vacation, you know, getting them wet. Um, you want to protect them when you're doing more adventurous things. Um, I like to go on adventures. I like to do a lot of fun things like that. So I wanted to protect my phone primarily because I just got an iPhone uh, 14 Pro Max, which I'm actually recording this video with. I'll explain everything here later. But uh, just about a month ago, and a little less than a month ago, I got an iPhone, iPhone 14 Pro Max, and it's a bigger phone. And I also uh, put it in this case right here. Um, an OtterBox Defender Pro, uh, which is, you know, it, it definitely adds some thickness and width to the phone. So it makes for about as big a phone as you can get right now. Um, and keep in mind, this is very important to know, this is the case I have. And a lot of people ask that question, like, oh, well, your phone fits in it, does the case. If you have an OtterBox Defender Pro or anything thinner, this will fit. An iPhone 14 Pro Max will fit in both of these cases. Now, since I'm obviously recording this video with my iPhone 14 Pro Max, I'm going to be using my wife's phone. Now, I don't even remember what type of phone this is. It's like a Google Pixel 7, I think, something like that. I, I don't really care. For anyone that's going to put in the comments, you should have got one of those. They're better. They're not. iPhone iPhones are the best, and the 14 Pro Max is absolutely stinking phenomenal. That's not up for debate. You can, of course, tell me your opinion. I will respectfully disagree because I love my phone. But the reason I'm using this is because virtually this is just about the same width and thickness and length and height, all that good stuff. The measurables to my iPhone 14 Pro Max, that's a really hard word to say. So if I sound like I rolled some words there, iPhone 14 Pro Max is very similar to this in size. But the iPhone 14 Pro Max in an OtterBox will fit in either one of these, as will this phone. So just know that. I, I didn't want to confuse anybody, but I wanted to use something for as an example. Um, and I wanted to review both of these because I had a lot of issues when I was trying to find out for sure would my phone fit in these. And I ended up just buying both because I wasn't sure if it would fit in this one. And I was I was worried this would be too big. I didn't know which one I would like more. So I thought, you know what? Heck, I got a YouTube channel. Why not make a video about it? Maybe I'll help somebody else out. Because all the people that made videos about these cases... They absolutely sucked doing it. They did not tell you what you needed. They were absolute terrible videos. I, I was shocked. I was shocked I couldn't find one video I liked. So <laughs> I'll stop complaining and start showing to you guys what you need to know about these cases. Um, first of all, the price. Uh, we are looking at a higher cool. This is like a more of like a very budgety. And these are both on Amazon, so there'll be links below. Um, but the higher cool is definitely more of a super budgety version. As to where Pelican, you guys all know Pelican. It's it's a, it's a pretty pretty top notch name in the storage and you know case industry of all sorts of you know different types of storage boxes. Um, and the big difference is the price. These come in four packs for $16.99. $16.99 for four of these as to where this guy right here comes in packaging that uh, is just one per package and it is $23.99. So $24 each and $17 for four of them. So definitely a lot more value in this uh, water pouch here. And that's the big thing is these are both waterproof. They're going to protect your phone if you drop it in water. Me and my wife are getting ready to go on a trip to Colorado and Utah. So we're going to be, we're going to be in streams. We're going to be doing all sorts of fun stuff. And I'm, I think I would, oh, I would go into a massive depression if I dropped my iPhone 14 Pro Max in the water. I don't even want to envision it because it gives me chills thinking about it. Um, so I wanted to protect it. I wanted to protect it with the best thing I could possibly find. Um, and I wasn't sure which one would be better. Obviously, I'm leaning towards the Pelican, or I was, because it was like, you know, it's Pelican. I knew it was going to be good. I don't mind spending extra for assurance on a $1,200 phone. Like, I'm 100% fine paying $24 for this. 
But then I was interested in this because I also go to the gym a lot and I want to keep my phone clean and just not get all the grime and nasty crap on it. So I thought something like this, even if I don't want to use it for trips, it would be perfect to like just throw my phone in and bring to the gym with me so it doesn't get all sweaty and nasty and disgusting. So I did just get both of them and here we are. So let's talk about them. Let's talk about how they open. Uh, the higher arc, higher, higher cool. Higher Cool. I literally haven't even said the name of this until this review, so I'm not really used to it. Uh, the Higher Cool uh, opens up just like this. We'll get this lanyard off. These do both come with lanyards um, for regular day-to-day -day carry. It don't matter, but when you're on a trip, if you're rafting or if you're doing something like that, the lanyards could be very valuable. So it is nice that they both come with the lanyards, but we'll get those out of the way for now because, yeah, we just don't need to see them. Uh, so the Higher Cool opens up just like that. And I will say the higher cool is a rather snug fit for my phone. Um, my wife's phone fits a little easier because my wife's phone is a tad more narrow, but this is still a good example of what an iPhone 14 Pro uh, Max would look like in this. Just uh, just takes up a little more space in there, but the iPhone, 4, iPhone 14 Pro Max does fit just fine in here. I've used it to, at the gym plenty of times now, and as you can see, it's in there just fine. Um, I did find if you kind of push a little of the air out, that helps. Uh, the, the touch pad works and everything great with this. So yeah, you do get secure protection, uh, and it works fine. It really does work fine. I did the waterproof test. I was going to record it and kind of put a mishmash together to, to prove to you guys, but you know what? You, if you guys watch my channel long enough, you know uh, I speak the truth. And to be honest, like I said, I'm not expecting to really make anything off this. This is more just uh, informational purposes. But I will say both of these held up to the water test just fine. Um, what they do recommend you doing for any time you get a new case is you put some paper towel in both of them. Or put paper towel in one and just smerge it underwater for like 30 seconds to make sure it doesn't leak. I did that with both of these and they both held up completely fine. I have zero concerns about water getting into either one of these. Um, and then now the Pelican case, this is the extra large case. Very, very important to know the extra large Pelican case because when you click on the link on Amazon, regardless of whether you click on the link I send you that I have listed below, or if you just go to Amazon and search this, the large and or the regular size and extra large are all in the same listing. So you have to kind of move over and select the extra large size. And they both kind of open the same way. Um, I do feel like the Pelican has a little sleeker bit of a sleeker design on the tabs, which could potentially be safer. And I'll explain that in a second. Um, but as you can see, um, my wife's phone in here, there's a lot of room on the side. Please pardon the glare. Um, and my terrible reflection, <laughs> but uh, it fits fine in here. There's a lot of room on the side and then it closes up basically the same way. You just gotta get everything straight and it, hmm, it does feed through eventually. You just gotta do it right. There you go, closed, sealed, done. Now, a couple advantages to the Pelican. Um, I think the biggest one is that the Pelican, uh, actually it's kind of a combination. So the Pelican pouch floats. As you can see back here, this is a padded surface and it has some float, some, you know, lightweight material in here that's going to cause and help force this foam to float if I drop it in water. So instead of just sinking to the bottom or going underwater and being harder to find, it's going to stay more to the top of the water and just float along as it goes down the stream and you, uh, run as fast as you possibly humanly can to go get your phone before it goes into a waterfall or something. And that would just suck. Um, but now the higher cool, it doesn't fly. It, it's not supposed to float. If you leave a lot of air in here, it could, it would probably would float a little, but then with all the air, you'd, it'd be a little more difficult to work the touchpad. So that's kind of, you can do whatever you prefer there. My bigger concern is like right here on the end. Now, these are very easy to pop open design like this to like take it in and out. But I'm thinking like worst case scenario, like you drop your, you drop your phone in a creek and it starts going down the creek. If this hits a rock, if this hits something, it could knock it loose like that. As to where the Pelican one is flush with the end. So if it hits something, it's more likely to stay sealed. That's very important for me. I look for details in like this because I don't want my phone to get water in it. That's the whole reason I'm buying this pouch. And I do kind of feel like this one would be a little more susceptible to opening if it hits something on this side and causing water to get in, um, which would obviously be a very bad thing. 
So where we stand with both of these, I honestly like both of them. I wouldn't, if you were going to be doing more water activities like your kayaking or whitewater rafting or doing something real adventurous where you could drop your phone into a stream or a creek, something with real moving water and the current could take it and they could run into things and hit it and you want something that's more, more padded and more protective, I would go with the Pelican. It's worth every extra penny. But if you're just like going to the Bahamas and you want to take some pictures underwater um, and you don't need that extra protection, um, this is not a bad option. It, it works in terms of protecting your phone from water. They work equally. You get a couple extra benefits with the floating pads and the more, uh, more uh, I believe, uh, secure design of the tabs to avoid having something hit the side and knocking them open. Um, but we're talking marginal differences there. And both cases will hold an iPhone 14 Pro Max or anything smaller just fine. So you're good to go there. That's the biggest question that I couldn't get answered when I was watching these stupid videos. So there you go. The, the big question's answered. And in terms of which one to go with, they do really work. I'm actually keeping both of these. I'm going to use this Pelican case for my trips and adventures. And I'm going to use these for the gym because these things will get nasty and dirty over time. So it's nice to have some backups. And if I forget this or lose this one, worst case, have to move to one of these, I'll have extras. So, um, yeah, I am going to honestly keep both because I would recommend either one. It's just, you know, what fits your lifestyle more. Um, but they're both great. They both protect your phone. And that's my thoughts on them, guys. That is the review. Kind of a different one for this channel, but I hope it answered questions for anyone looking into it. And uh, if you're new to my channel and you thought I was maybe kind of funny or just did a good job of making this video, hit the subscribe button, follow along. Maybe you'll see some cool knives every once in a while, you know? Knives are for everyone. So check that out as well. Um, but of course, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.